Hi guys and girls, welcome to the start of the new vlog. Uh, I'll show you what's been going on here, it's all a little bit different. The dyno cell is now relocated into the new unit, so I'm really chuffed about that. Um, my, my toolbox is gone, so I've got a, a window a window back which seems really weird and uh, oops. what is amazing is how much space I've got in this unit and it's still quite filled all the machines are still in here and the space in the new unit is rapidly running out so I'm a little bit scared that we already haven't got enough room um, so on that note I need to earn some money to uh, pay for bits to to uh, to get in there so the first job that I'm going to show is a flywheel that's just come from the garage around the front um, someone's had a go or a local machine shop or garage has had a go at repairing this it's a it's a race flywheel so it uses a, a step style clutch on it a seven and a quarter I would guess um, and this step here needs to be a certain depth which is hundred thou or two and a half mil but whoever's done it I don't know if the camera's picking it up they've left all these heat marks in um, and this is chewed to death um, this is really really a, a, a bad job um, so the first thing that I'm going to do is machine the actual clutch face, face because with the heat that goes through that it ends up being quite hard so I I do that um, I don't do that on the lathe actually I do that on my um, rotary table on my surface grinder which is that here so I've just lifted that up <clears throat> and put it on my surface grinder uh, I'm going to bolt it down and then clamp it, centralise it, it's really good, I can use these marks to get it pretty close, um, it doesn't need to be absolutely cock on because the machine will just sit over this part here and, and as this is rotating the, the machine will be grinding the other way um, and it will get this nice and flat and uh, should do a good job. So what I'll do, I'll, um, I'll mount all this down and then I'll record it being machined. Oh, the one thing I will do first, actually, is let's have a measure up and see if they, when they've machined the step on, if they've given it the right, the right step at least. Oh yeah, that's exactly a hundred thou. So at least they've machined the step in it correctly. I don't know if you can see this but there's so many high spots in this and this is where the, the cutter on the guy's lathe has just ran straight over the top of the high spots and uh, yeah ab absolutely achieved nothing so uh, here we go let's get it flat. So that's the clutch place uh, face all ground now, so it's looking loads better. Um, it was a fair way out, that's for certain. Um, yeah, it was a fair way out. Um, I'll tell you what I've taken off it, we'll have a quick measure up. Actually, it's still actually loaded with cracks. Um, I've taken ten thou off it to get it flat, but I think what I might do is is just go a tad more um, just to see if I can 
get some of these heat cracks out. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to switch the machine back on and go a bit more. And what I need to do now is machine the um, 100 thou or two and a half mil step back onto it. So we'll do that in the in the lathe. So with the flywheel mounted in the lathe, the first thing I'm going to do is just um, wipe some of the swarf off the lathe. Sam's been using this, building himself another Vauxhall VXR engine and uh, he's been modifying some bits on it and uh, he hasn't wiped it down after he's used it, bless him. So I'm going to wipe the machine down because what I want to do is just clock the flywheel to make sure it's running true. So I'll do that with a DTI. Yeah, and that's fine that. It's got about half a thou, which is nothing really. So I'm happy with that, I'll run it at that. The way it was machined before, I mean, even on the grinder, it was uh, all over the place. Next thing I need to do is put a, a better tool in here than this. So there we go, that's all done now, uh, looking loads better. That's a hundred thou step put back onto that, or two and a half mil for the, for the clutch pack. But I'm going to put it in the wash for a couple of minutes, or just give it a quick jet wash off outside, and then we're ready to give back to the customer. So we're still on Tuesday, the, the hottest day, and it is still unbearable. Um, Sam's finished work a bit earlier. So he's uh, he's over at the workshop in the cool now, just doing, um, I think he's decorating actually. I've just walked over and grabbed the scales and I'll show you why. This is the back plate for the MGA engine, which I'm gonna lighten. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a quick measurement on the scales. Right, we'll see what we can uh, we can get off that. What I'll do is I'll uh, I'll just write on here what it weighs at the moment, and then um, we'll get it machined and see what we get it down to. Be nice to lose half a kilo. Be nice if I could lose half a kilo as well. That's the MGA back plate all done. I've bored these um, few holes in it. Uh, and it's taken 0.6 of a kilo off it, which you can actually really feel the difference. Um, I don't really want to take no more off it. I mean, I could probably put an hole in here and here. In fact, do I do that? Um, maybe I'll put three more holes in it. I've got that much weight off it so far. It looks pretty good. I just need to deburr it. I'm thinking about putting three more holes in it, but I'm not sure what to do. I'll think about that. So next job that's on the surface grinder is this five cylinder VW exhaust manifold. Uh, it's quite low here. So what I'm doing at the moment is just leveling it all up uh, and then we'll crack on with uh, refacing it. 
so that's had 20 thousandths of an inch off it so far and you can really see just how bad that manifold is. We put it in the middle, this one took first and now it's just about clean this one up, clean this one up but it hasn't touched here yet and it hasn't touched there so we'll keep on taking some metal off and see where we're at. And there we have it, uh, one mil later we're down to a nice flat surface. So what I'm going to do now is just deburr the stud holes and the exhaust ports and then that's ready for my customer to collect. So um, on to the next job. So I've just started making the centre bench for the workshop, well for the shop, speed shop. I've got the two main uh, structures in now and then today me and the wife have done a brick wall obviously mainly me that's our new cap wearing um, glass skull we got that yesterday we've named it Elsa So that's the centre bench all made now. That's four full length scaffold boards used for that. And then we put mesh each side. Uh, we might end up putting some more mesh on, on the centre bench just so we can clip things to it and whatnot. But um, yeah, it's a bit of a monster. So I'm really happy with the, uh, the end result on that. I was going to do a little bit more welding in places, but we've just run out of gas. So uh, I've got to get some gas this week and then just strengthen up these centre legs here. Uh, and then me and James is on about probably putting a, a bar up here to sectionise it a bit more. I don't know. I'll speak to Tracy about that. And then that's the brick slips all done. So me and Tracy got those done today. So all I've got to do now is grout that section. We was going to brick slip all underneath here as well, but I think what we're going to do now is put doors on there just so we can um, put some stuff away if need be. So we'll have to make them. We'll put a, a shelf in there as well just to make it look a bit neater. But yeah, the shop's really getting there now. Not really a lot to do. Flooring, tidying up, a couple of doors, done. So I'm quickly... Um, going through my transit engine today um it's it's about half past five actually it's quite late i've only just got here um so the ho the block the transit block is in the home i've done the cylinder which was bad and it's cleaned up okay so i'm going to blip through the other um three cylinders um everything's out the back in the wash uh, i want to say a big thank you to simon at nevlock who um sent me the bitch to fix it straight away um so they're all in now i can get that um all um all put back together now which i'm really chuffed about the um cylinder head i'm going to strip that that's i put some acid on that outside just to get the oil off it pre uh pre stripping it there's all the bits that's the crank the cylinder head and the cradle and then uh, the one thing I don't know whether to do is while I'm doing it is just quickly balance it because uh, the, the tuner in me couldn't help but weigh the pistons and the heaviest one is 6.3 grams heavy. Um, so I think I am. I think I'm going to balance the crank, uh, the con rods and the pistons uh, just so I know it's been done. Really. So the transit engine is uh, starting to go back together. Uh, I decided to just do a quick balance on the pistons, rods and crankshaft. So I had to take uh, three and a half grams off this piston. These two was perfect and the lightest. 
and uh, this one's two and a half grams heavy so I'm going to machine this piston just to get that down as long as I'm within a gram I'm happy with that this is only my uh, transit engine so it's only a standard thing uh, it was just curiosity really just to see what um, standard Ford transit stuff's like so uh, I'm going to do the rods next that was the cause of my engine failure that's cylinder number four cracked all the way through the piston the uh, the other three cylinders are also cracked but that was the reason the van stopped so I'll carry on that's it that's complete now that's my uh, transit 2.2 front wheel drive that's the black van that you normally see me in um, it's my uh, it's an M Sport Ken Block van which <coughs> Sam and Brad borrowed um, blew the engine up in not not really their fault it was always a little bit noisy anyway but I was annoyed because it's only done 48,000 miles um, but when I stripped it I think Sam managed to stop it in perfect time really because the engine was absolutely immaculate apart from one very badly cracked piston and uh, two of the others or three of the others had uh, the beginnings of cracks it's got four brand new pistons in it I've honed the bores new mains new big ends new timing chain kit um i've stripped the cylinder head refaced the valves ground the valves back into the seats gave it a very light reface i mean it only had um uh what was it four thou off it no three thou to get it flat then all new uh oil seals and everything the head was um, in the cleaner for ages because they because it's uh, diesel they really suffer with a build up of oil and carbon in there so that's all sorted now the only thing I've got left to do is the timing chain um, the reason I'm not doing that is Steve didn't leave me the flywheel and I believe the engine is uh, pinned off the flywheel so I've pinned the camshafts ready and uh, yeah so I just need to speak to Steve tomorrow I think he's back from um, from holiday tomorrow I also decided to paint the block because I don't think any of the transit engines are painted from standard uh, and they always look rusty and a bit horrible. I've got another one over here which I'm reboring, and uh, that hasn't even got any paint on it. It's just just rusty. So um, in fact, that must be a rear wheel drive engine, is it? Because that's got the motorways there. Um, yeah, so I've given it a coat of paint, and uh, and Steve can get it back in hopefully this week for me, and I can get back in me uh, back in me transit. Well, that's it. I thought I'd end my uh, transit van video here. Um, it's all done. I've had it back now from Steve for about five days. Uh, we've done, um, I think, sixty miles in it so far. No, fifty, fifty miles in it so far. It was on uh, when Sam blew. Oh no, fifty-five miles. When Sam blew it up, it was on exactly forty-eight thousand miles. So the engine's been fully reconditioned now. New pistons, new bearings, new timing chain, uh, all the bits and bobs. So yeah, it's uh, I'm well chuffed with it. It's, uh, it sounds a lot better as well. So now I've got to run it in for about 500 miles. Uh, change the oil and filter, then do another thousand miles. Change the oil and filter again, and then just get it back to its usual routine. But I've missed my van, so I'm well just that I've got it back on the road. I've just got to give it a really good valet now, get it mint again, and then the body shop's going to take care of a few scratches on it for me. So I'll record the, I'll record that getting painted at the body shop as well. So I just want to shout out Steve uh, Barker from the garage at the top of the road, uh, SB Automotive. Um, yeah, he stepped up and got it sorted out put four brand new Ford injectors in for it for me as well and also Simon at Nevlock for supplying all the parts um, that's the end of this video I'll, uh, I'll catch you on the next one if you could hit the subscribe button please hit the alert bell that would be great and take care people see you soon